Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add widgets to the notification center on iOS 8. So iOS 8 now brings widgets to the notification center. So if I swipe down from the top, this is the notification center. And so I'm going to show you guys how to add widgets. So a few of them that are currently working are Evernote, uh, Yahoo Weather, Dropbox, Duolingo, Day One. Uh, these are several other ones like Vice News, uh, New York Times Now. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm actually going to pull down this menu, go down, tap on edit, and from here you'll see the stock Apple widgets, uh, which you're used to seeing in the notification center. And now these are the new widgets available that I have on here. So I'm going to add a few of them. So I'm going to add Dropbox, Evernote, iTranslate, New York Times Now, photo frame and weather. Okay, so when you're done, you can rearrange them in whatever order you like. So I'm going to tap done. And now you should see the widgets show up here under today. So here's Dropbox, you can access some of the latest uh, files that you've added here. Uh, in Evernote, you can create notes directly from here. I translate uh, you can enter the last thing you copied into here and it'll be translated. Uh, New York Times Now, you can see that it has latest news. Uh, photo frame, you can add a photo from the application. You have to go to the application first. Uh, for this one, it's called Widget and it gives you several different types of widgets that you can add to the notification center. And so you can see that it's changing between pictures. Uh, and then here finally I have Vice News. Uh, this one just came out today and so you can view some of the latest news on Vice News. And finally, oh actually there's one more, uh, Weather, uh, which shifts between photos of the current state that you're in, uh, giving you the temperature and other weather information. Uh, for some of these apps you'll have to log in to your account or open the app at least once for them to work properly. Uh, here in the notification center, but once you open it and once you log in with your account, you should be good. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.